Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the easy silent and assassin suit only for the Isle of Scale in Hitman 3. Now, I've been doing reroutes for all these. This is uh, among the original last mission for the Hitman 2. Uh, we only got the two extra DLC missions after this. So, for this one, we're going to bring along the uh, the silver baller, but you can use any pistol you want to. Uh, we're also going to use a lockpick, and we're using an audio distraction device. If you have a flash phone or a, uh, any like other audio distraction device, that's completely fine, as long as it doesn't blow up. So... That's what you're going to need for this. So what we're actually going to need to do at the start is, you know, just follow where I'm going, really. It's so really pretty much a bit of a long start, which, uh, unfortunately, we don't have... We only have, like, two suit-only options on this map, unfortunately, and the, the, the second one just isn't very good. But from the very start here, we're just going to climb up this pipe. We're actually going to take out the cameras quite early as well. So uh, there's just going to be an evidence set here we're just going to shoot that there we go evidence are raised so we don't have to worry about cameras once we come in this room we need to grab this gun pretty important don't need to grab that muffin but yeah i like picking things up so you know whatever once we're at this point we're going to grab this can sneak past these guards when the guard moves away stay crouch as we're running through here open the door close it behind you grab the coin throw it right in the corner Otherwise, the woman won't go over there to investigate, which is what we need. Go ahead and lockpick this door and get through it. Again, stay crouched as you're running through here. Uh, select your audio distraction device. If you have a micro audio distraction device, even better. But just go ahead and drop it where I've just dropped it there. Once we've done that, I'm just going to grab that brick. And then we're going to go and plant a, a gun. Which is going to be the, the gun that we picked up earlier. I'm just going to drop it here. That's going to le uh, lead Zoe's bodyguard to remove that pistol out of the way so he doesn't get involved in any situation that we're going to convince him to get into. Next, we're going to come sneak through back through this room. You are going to get slightly spotted there, but don't worry. He won't peek, so you won't get fully uh, spotted. I'm going to climb up this ladder now. And the whole idea is to get to the harpist and get her to start the funeral. That's going to lead Zoe over here. He's going to increase the speed by a small amount. She's going to head it during in this direction anyway, but we just need to start the funeral there. And what we need to do is time it right so that Zoe uh, will come over to investigate that audio distraction device. Now, targets will see that as a weapon unless it's your flash phone. If you have a flash phone... Uh, she's going to pick that up, so don't worry about that. But if she, you're using any other audio distraction device, they're going to see it as a uh, a weapon. And she's going to tell her guards to go and take that away. So you need to make sure you time this time this right. Otherwise, uh, you can obviously fail this. So just, as you should, just before she starts passing the cage, you want to go and activate the audio distraction device. Pull out your pistol. Use your instinct. And when she gets close enough, go ahead and shoot the cage. 
Once you do that, it will drop on her head for a free accident kill. And now we can move on to Sophia. So we need to be pretty quick while doing this as well. Because we want to catch her before she actually gets up the stairs. So we're just going to climb this pipe. All the way up. To the very tippity top. Climb along this ledge and get onto this, this bridge area. Not like that. I'm wasting time doing this. There we go. Come on. Climb up. Go through the door. Come down the set of stairs. Press your body against this uh, the side here. Select your pistol. And just go ahead and place it on the floor. You can use L1 and L1, the shoulder buttons, to go and place that weapon. Then triangle. Or Y if you're on Xbox. Then Sophie is going to tell her guard that there's a weapon on the floor. And the guard's going to take that away. Now we're going to do a, a peekaboo on Sophia. So the whole idea is to step back as far as you can, just so you're close enough, just so the prompter will pop up for you on the door. And then we need to leave the door open. It's going to close by itself, but you need to leave it open just long enough for her to see you. But not that all the way Sophia, that she completely Chairwoman spots you. So just do it just before it peaks, and then she's going to come into this room. Wait for her to come all the way into the room, then close the door behind you. Smack her in the head with the, the soda can, and then snap her neck. Then all you got to do is just go and hide a body. And it's not completely necessary to hide a, hide a body, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. We're just going to hide that body there. Doesn't do any harm. Now we're just going to retrace our steps. Now you just need to climb back over here. Climb along this edge and slide down the, 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 uh, the old pipe there. Now down the bottom, you can either do two things. You can either knock out this guy right here with the brick they picked up earlier, or just uh, wait for him to move out of the way. Yes, that might I got impatient, so I decided to knock him out. His body don't get found anyway, so if you want to just wait for him to just move out of the way, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But we're going to take this exit here that's closest to us. Just make sure the guards are facing the other way at the time you come down this ladder and the time you take the exit. Just uh, try not to rush. But once we're here, that is a pretty easy, solid, silent assassin suit only. And it's a lot easier than uh, my previous methods, that is for sure. So let's just get a confirmation of that silent assassin, and then we can wrap up the video. There we go. Pretty quick silent assassin suit only as well. So that is going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. If you've missed any Silent Assassin suit only that I've covered so far, there's a link in the description of the full playlist. A big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark David, Constantine, and the Crazy Jesus for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. If you want to become a member yourself, like I said, just click the link in the description or click the join button below. I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.